And we're back now with Amanda Knox and her new show, The Scarlet Letter Reports, which is a great name. Um, where is it going to air? How can people it's see gonna it? It's going to be on Facebook Watch, um, but you can always go and visit Broadly, and they'll redirect you. Okay. And so what? who are you featuring, and what does it have to do with Stormy Daniels? <laughs> oh. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, I mean, I would love to talk to Stormy Daniels one day, um, but... I am interviewing various women who have seen different shades of this same problem. I reached out to as many diverse people as possible because I wanted to show how all of these disparate circumstances are very similar and they're coming from a similar problem. And the women who ended up choosing me, really, is how I feel it, um, were women who were ready to tell their story and who had all been slut-shamed or, or vilified in especially having to do with their sexuality. So I'm talking about Brett Rossi, who is an adult film star who brought out domestic violence allegations against her ex-fiance, Charlie Sheen, and the way that her story was represented in the media was like, oh, just the salacious porn star, whatever. That which is, which herself. has also happened to Stormy Daniels. To Stormy Daniels. Just because she's an adult film star doesn't mean she isn't telling the truth about her affair. Now, she's contradicted herself on that, but she's explained why she originally said it didn't happen. Keep Absolutely. And, and the fact that, like, I was, I've been watching closely what she's been saying, and when she said... These, these powerful men feel like they can get away with it because I'm technically a woman who doesn't matter. And that is exactly the problem. I remember reading um, uh, an opinion article about how, like, we can't, you know, we can't slut shame Stormy Daniels anymore because, oh, the president is also a slut himself. And it's like, well, why are you, like, nostalgic for the time <laughs> when we could just slut shame the woman and make her shut up? Good point. <laughs> you know? And I know you're also pointing to, it's, it goes beyond slut shaming because it's, you pick up any tabloid magazine, um, whether it's In Touch or National Enquirer, and what do you see? Women's cellulite all over it. You know, like women who don't necessarily choose. I mean, you know, like Kim Kardashian, she puts herself out there. You know, mm -hmm. it's not a nice thing to do, but she does put herself out there. But other women just going to the beach or going around with their family mm -hmm. and close-ups on their belly or their bottom or it's in it's nonstop. Mm -hmm. There's body slam or shaming, mental health shaming, whether or not you are like intelligence shaming. It's it's we we put people up on a pedestal. And we very quickly turn that into a pillory. We have this very weird schizophrenic relationship with people who are in our public eye. But again, I can't emphasize enough that like that then turns itself around and reflects the way that we see each other. And you used to, you say that you used to go through the grocery store like a lot of people and grab those tabloids and thumb through and it was oh, yeah. not a thing for not you. Not a problem, yeah. And now having been referred to as Foxy Noxy and all the things that were said about you, how do you feel? I'm extremely sensitive about it. Um, I, I, even my own, I, I have some supporters of mine who have said to me, what happened to you was tragic, but you weren't asking for it. Those other people, they're asking for it. And for me, the issue is, no, this is, like, this is the pitchfork mentality that we've, we've all been dealing with. We're all human beings who have been othering each other forever throughout it, the history of everything. That, it, honestly, that is so true. And I will tell you, there was, a, there was a headline on the National Enquirer, which loves Donald Trump, and they have not liked me since I asked that debate question, that called me the most hated mom in America. And my neighbor, God love her, ran into the grocery store where I live and, and said, take those out of here. She shops here with, <laughs> with her children. And all I could think was how much I love my neighbor, but also how... We need to be doing that for each other, whether we live across the street from, from the person mm -hmm. or not. Yeah. And just don't buy those magazines. Just don't feed the beast. Because there, there is a real person on the receiving end of those questions, mm -hmm. and it, they can hurt. I mean, that's what Monica's been saying, Monica Lewinsky's been saying all along, mm -hmm. is that you are feeding the beast by consuming these other women. And the way that you stop it is you stop supporting the negativity out in the world and you support a kind of journalism that is objective with integrity but also takes compassion and context into the equation. Yeah, it's it's like I really do view it when you're standing there at the register as a character defining moment in some ways. Are you going to, you know, allow these peddlers to continue and thrive or are you going to say I'm better than that and I want our world to be better than that? Yeah, self-awareness is the the solution to this issue. It's not, you know, having some like 
thumb on on journalism. It's just Choice. us. It's us, and knowing what choices we're making by consuming the information that we consume. Great to see you doing so well. All the best with it. Thank you. Thanks for coming Thank you so on. Much. And man and Oscar, everybody. <laughs> New episodes of the Scarlet Letter Reports air every Wednesday, all month long on Facebook Watch. We'll be right back. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.